The new state budget gives at least 10 school districts in central New York the opportunity to add an additional year of school for students or expand already existing pre-K programs. News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan was at the Park Hill School in East Syracuse as one state senator celebrate, celebrated what he considers the earliest big win for his district. State Senator John Mannion meets four-year-olds at East Syracuse Manoa's long-running pre-K program, which he hopes will be replicated at other schools. I've been in classroom for almost 30 years, and my wife has as well. And what we're seeing at times is that there is probably more children that come less prepared as they enter kindergarten than they did just a few years ago. If we can reduce the amount of all kinds of other costs in our world, whether it's incarceration, whether it's high school dropouts, whether it's addictions, whether it's in what it costs when, when someone is not prepared for either college or career. If, if, we, if we could go through a list of all kinds of things that we are reactively paying for, because we didn't make the first step, which was to invest from the very earliest point of a child's education. The state legislature agrees in this year's state budget, offering money for 800 seats of pre-kindergarten in central New York. Districts that already have it, like North Syracuse and Liverpool, are looking into expanding. Districts that never had it, like Baldwinsville, West Genesee, and West Hill, are open to the possibility, but are considering long-term funding sources and physical space. We all have to start somewhere. So what's important is what does it take to get started? And I think that every community will find that there is clearly a need. This budget has record funding, needed reforms, and that, my friends, is a promise that I kept to the good families and amazing educators in central New York. You can take the teacher out of the classroom, but Senator Mannion hopes you can't take the teacher out of him. In East Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.